One of the things we hear from retailers who have never had an e-commerce website, and even from longtime smart retailing clients who just never turned their shopping cart on, is the concern that processing orders could be too time-consuming, too confusing, or too complicated. But it really isn't. Frankly, it's pretty much just like an in-store transaction, only the timing and the location of the customer and the cash register are different. And while there will certainly be different order scenarios over time, let's take a look at the most common, and that is an order from a local customer for a product you have in stock in your store for pickup at the store. First off, here's how you'll know that an order has been placed on your website that needs your attention. In orders and order notices, you can add as many email addresses to receive notice of orders as needed. Once an order is submitted on your website, each email listed gets a notification that looks like this. You'll then go to Orders and Open Orders to process the order. In the order list, you'll see key information such as the date and time the order was placed, customer name, email address, and the order status. You'll edit the order you want to work on by clicking the green pencil icon. At the top of the order detail page, you'll see the customer information, billing and shipping information. This order is for pickup and store, so you'll see your store address as the shipping address, and order information. If you have multiple locations, the pickup location will be an important detail to note. In the center of the order detail page, you'll see the order contents, details about discounts, sales tax, and shipping and handling, if applicable. This is also where you'll capture payment and record store fulfillment to mark the order as ready for pickup and notify your customer so that they know when they can come get their order. Finally, at the bottom of the order detail page, you'll find payments and authorizations, fulfillment details, and order status. Now, we'll walk through some order processing steps. Back in orders and open orders, we'll edit this first order. Scroll down to the order contents. You'll know this order can be fulfilled from your inventory when you see my number followed by your store SKU and a number greater than zero in parentheses. There's also information here about which of your suppliers may have the item too. At the bottom of this page, let's advance the order status to being processed and add a quick note that you're pulling the item from inventory. The order status and comments here are visible to your customer. Save that change. Now go get this item from wherever it is in your store. Pulling the inventory promptly reduces the chances that it is sold in the store before you can retrieve it for this customer. Once you have the item and you are sure you can fulfill the order, capture the payment if that wasn't done automatically. I'm using a mock payment method here so it will look different, but all you have to do is click the Capture Online Payment button and complete the capture. Now you'll use Record Store Fulfillment to show that you've completed the order internally and to let your customer know when they can come collect their order. Enter a date and time that the order can be picked up and check the box next to Send Customer Email if you want to notify your customer by email that their order's ready. You have a couple of choices to advance the order status at this point that depend on your internal process. Some stores will mark an order as completed at this point and finalize the sale in their POS system once the customer has picked up their order. Others will mark an order as on hold and add a comment such as ready for customer pickup and only mark the order completed once the item leaves the store. Either way works, and only depends on which way works best in your store. In this simple case, 
you've just processed an order on your website. Of course, there can be more steps involved depending on many different variables. You can learn more in our Help Center by searching orders and checking out articles on fulfilling orders, order notices, payment methods, watching out for fraud, and more. As always, the Smart Detailing Client Success Team is here to help. So call, email, or chat if you have any questions about orders on your website. Have questions, comments, or other topics you'd like us to cover in a video like this? Let us know.